Your doctor has suggested that you learn about egg preservation. Preservation is the act of storing your eggs. This is because you are going to receive or have received treatment that may affect your fertility. Treatment can cause you to run out of eggs earlier than most women, which may put your ability to have biologically related children at risk. This is where egg preservation can help. This film will explain the process of egg preservation as a way of preserving your fertility. This is something for you to consider. The choice to preserve eggs or not is up to you. First, let's go over the female reproductive system. The ovaries contain the eggs, also called oocytes. A woman typically releases one egg each month, and when combined with sperm from a man, create an embryo. This occurs in the fallopian tubes. The tubes then carry the embryo to the uterus, where it will grow and develop into a baby. The cervix is the opening to the uterus. The vagina is the tube that leads to the cervix from the labia, your outer genitals. It is the location of sexual intercourse. When a girl is born, she has over a million premature eggs. By the time she reaches puberty at age 10 to 14, or has her first period, this number has decreased. As a woman ages, the number of eggs in her ovaries continues to decrease until she stops having her period or enters menopause. This usually begins in her late 40s. This is a normal and natural process. As the number of eggs in a woman decreases, it may become more difficult for her to have a baby. The doctor believes that because of either 1. the treatment you will receive or 2. the treatment you have received or 3. the condition you have may cause you to run out of eggs earlier in life than most women. That means you are at risk for entering menopause at an early age. This is called premature ovarian insufficiency, or POI. We would like to explain a procedure called egg preservation, which may permit you to save or store your eggs now, before they run out, or use them later, when you are ready to have a biologically related child. So how do we get these eggs? This process is called egg or oocyte retrieval. If you decide you might want to save your eggs, your health care team can refer you to a fertility center. Fertility centers help people who are having trouble conceiving, making a baby in the usual way. The fertility center team will discuss options for preserving your eggs. They will ask you questions about your periods, sexual history, and general health. They may draw some blood to check your hormones and ultrasound your ovaries to see how many eggs are in your ovaries. From these tests, they can estimate your chances of successfully preserving your eggs. In order to see your ovaries, the fertility doctor may do an ultrasound transvaginally. This means the ultrasound probe will be inserted into your vagina to take pictures of your ovary. To retrieve eggs, you will likely need to have this test several times throughout the process of egg retrieval. While transvaginal ultrasound may seem scary, it will likely feel uncomfortable but shouldn't hurt. If your ovarian function is adequate and you want to proceed, you will move on to the next steps to harvest your eggs, stimulation and then retrieval. To prepare your body for the egg retrieval, the fertility team will prescribe hormone injections to help make your ovaries release between 8 and 15 eggs. This might take up to 14 days. You will have blood work and transvaginal ultrasounds in order to monitor when your ovaries have mature eggs that are ready to be retrieved. The retrieval of your eggs is a minor surgical procedure that happens at the fertility center. During the procedure, you will be given some medication to relax you and for pain. You will still be able to follow commands and breathe on your own. You will lie down on the procedure table with your legs supported up in the air. The fertility doctor will use an ultrasound probe to guide a needle through your vagina toward one of your ovaries. The eggs your ovaries are about to release will be pulled into a test tube and given to the laboratory staff. You will stay at the fertility center for a few hours to recover from the medication you receive to relax you. You will likely be sore for a day or two. The technologist in the lab will look at the eggs removed from your ovaries. 
They will count the number of eggs collected and prepare them for storage. What about the eggs? Now that you have harvested your eggs, you have a few options on what to do with them now. 1. Freeze eggs alone. 2. Freeze embryos made with sperm that can be obtained from your partner or a donor. 3. Do both. The eggs or embryos will stay in a special freezer until you are ready to start a family. How do we make an embryo? An egg will be combined with sperm from a partner or donor. The combination will be put in a special incubator for several days and hopefully become an embryo. The embryo will then be frozen. There are several ways to use the frozen eggs or embryos when you are ready to have a family. If you froze eggs, you need to make an embryo first. 1. Embryos can be inserted into your uterus. 2. Embryos can be inserted into a uterus of another woman, also called a surrogate or gestational carrier. Some women choose this option if they are unable to carry a baby. Thinking about preserving your eggs is a big decision. There are many things for you to consider in making this decision, including financial cost. There are other options, such as adoption and using eggs donated by another woman. You likely have lots of questions, and your health care team is here to answer them. Egg harvesting is a choice. This may not be for you. This video is just to give you the information to understand the process involved. Please talk to your health care team for more information.